Hi, welcome back to Learn Me Some English. My name is Jean Meesom. Today we'll continue with the daily news articles. So today's article is called Disaster Vending Machines Introduced in Japan. This is an intermediate article. The focus is on economy and business. You can find me at www.learnmesomeenglish.com. These articles are on engu, E-N-G-O-O dot com. So first, we'll start with vocabulary words, where I'd like you to pause and make your own sentence with the words, and then we will continue with some questions to think about while listening to the article. Let's begin. Our first word is disaster. That is a noun. An event that causes great damage or loss. Officials said that 230 people died in the disaster. Two, locker. Noun. A small cupboard with a lock in a school, gym, etc. used for storing personal items. I need to grab my sports shoes from my locker before gym class starts. 3. Portable. Adjective. Able to be carried or moved easily. The battery in my portable speaker usually lasts the entire day. 4. Earthquake. Noun. A sudden strong shaking of the surface of the earth. The earthquake was strong. But fortunately, there were no fatalities. 5. Measure. Verb. To be a specified size, length, etc. The room measures 15 by 20 feet, so there should be enough space for a large bed and two nightstands. 6. Scale. Noun. A range of numbers used for measuring or grading something. An earthquake measuring 7.9 on the Richter scale hit Alaska on Monday. Now let's get started with the article. The title is Disaster Vending Machines Introduced in Japan. First, we'll look at the questions. Number one, where were the first disaster vending machines placed? Number two, under what circumstances will the vending machines unlock? Three, how many earthquakes hit Japan each year? And here's a few discussion questions. What are your thoughts on Japan's disaster vending machines? Would you like to have disaster vending machines installed in your town or city? And are there a lot of vending machines in your neighborhood? And why do you think there are so many vending machines in Japan? Last one, what's the weirdest or most interesting thing you've seen in a vending machine? So let's get going. As a new way to prepare for natural disasters, Japan has introduced vending machines that will offer free food and drinks after a disaster. Created by Japanese company Earth Corporation, the machines are believed to be the first disaster vending machines in Japan. Two were already put in the city of Eiko in Hyogo Prefecture in March this year. Eiko is about 75 meters west of Kobe, where a large earthquake in 1995 killed more than 6,400 people. The machines have around 300 bottles and cans of drinks and 150 emergency food items. A locker attached to each machine above the recycling box also has other emergency items such as face masks and portable toilets. Most days the machines can be used as normal vending machines. But when a disaster happens, such as an earthquake measuring upper 5 or above on the Japanese Shindo earthquake scale, the machines will unlock, allowing people to take the items for free. According to the Shindo scale, which goes up to seven. An earthquake measuring upper five can make large furniture fall. Earthquakes of this size happen two to five times a year on average in Japan. Japan is one of the countries most affected by earthquakes, with around 1,500 happening there each year. Earth Corporation told the Menichi that the machines will help make people safer and it hopes to put more disaster vending machines across Japan. There are nearly 4 million vending machines across Japan, about one for every 31 people in the country. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you answer all the questions, and I'll see you next time. Again, www.learnmesomeenglish, L-E-A-R-N, M-E-A-S-O-M for mother, English.com. My name is Jean Meesom. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you again next time.